Donna, do you have a minute? Does this have to do with the associates we're letting go? It does. And since I understand you'll be doing exit interviews with them, I thought you should know who's going. That's funny. That's not what I thought you'd be asking. What do you mean? Katrina, are you sure you're gonna be okay firing people you've worked with for years? I mean, I know you value the firm, but this I is... I know it isn't going to be easy, Donna. I was once let go from here, too, but... I'll tell you what I told Lewis, that if I'm going to grow in my role here, this is something I'm going to have to learn to do. Fair enough. Hang on a second, has Lewis seen this list? No, why? There's a problem with the first name. He's not gonna like it. I know that. Then I suggest you let him know before you pull the trigger. I can't do that. Why not? Because this process is supposed to be impartial. And if I tell Lewis who I'm going to fire just because he won't like one of the names on the list, then... What won't I like? Lewis, Katrina was just informing me that it's not a good idea for you to... What name? Brian. No. Lewis. Hey, Donna, this is between Katrina and me. No, Lewis, it isn't. This is about the firm and its integrity. You asked me to come up with an objective metric, and by that metric, Brian Altman has to go. So change the metric. I can't do that. And even if I could, he'd be just as likely to go down as go up. I understand that, but I don't give a sh anyone but Brian. Lewis. Katrina, listen to me. You asked for this responsibility, so I gave it to you. So now I am telling you to find a way to keep him. OK, Lewis. I'll see what I can do. And the next thing I knew, <laughs> there were peas everywhere. On me, on the wall, everywhere, but in his mouth. I'm telling you, it was disgusting. I was gonna say adorable, but. <laughs> anyway, this is nice, Katrina. I'm glad you suggested lunch. So, tell me, Brian, do you think that having a baby has made you more productive in the workplace? Are you kidding me? I see. Then what about your efficiency? I understand children sometimes necessitate better time management skills. Well, for my wife, maybe, but to tell you the truth, I'm all over the place. Then what would you say are the areas where you do excel? With my son? No, Brian, at work. Oh my God, am I getting fired? What? No, it, we were just talking about babies, and it got me thinking. About my time management skills? Katrina, don't lie to me. I've heard the rumors. Am I one of the ones being let go from the merger? You heard right, Brian, we are making some cuts. But you should know the decisions were based on completely objective data. Completely objective? I work my ass off for this firm. Well, your numbers certainly don't show that. My numbers? Yes, your numbers, the thing that indicates how hard you work. I don't believe this. You know what, maybe people were right about you. What does that mean? It means they say you're cold and all you care about is your job. Well, maybe they're right, maybe you are a robot. How dare you say that to me? How dare I say that to you? I've been showing you pictures of my child, and the whole time you've just been waiting to fire me. What kind of person would do that? You know what? The kind of person who has been trying to figure out how to save your job. But I haven't heard one thing that I can use to justify keeping you. So as far as I'm concerned, you're fired. Hey, Brian, I was just about to come see me. Bullshit. What do you mean, bullshit? I mean, there's no way you were gonna come see me because you didn't even have the balls to fire me to my face. What? Brian, nobody's firing you. You're gonna look me in the eye and tell me that Katrina didn't run her numbers and determine that I don't work hard enough to serve this firm? No, that's not. You know what? If you'd at least come and told me yourself. But why should I expect something like that? After all, it's not like you've ever held my newborn son. Brian, please wait. I told Katrina to find a way to keep you because I believe that you are more than worthy of serving this firm. And I do care about you and that is the truth. Yeah, well maybe you did tell her all that, but it didn't stop her from firing me anyway. Brian. You know what, Lois, if you need me, I'll be spending the next two days getting my files in order. Because contrary to Katrina's analysis, I care about my clients and I'm a damn good lawyer. Lewis, before you what say- What is your problem? I gave you an order and you blatantly ignored me. I didn't ignore you. Then what do you call firing Brian when I specifically told you not to? Listen to me, I tried not to fire him. I took him to lunch and- Oh, good, lunch. I hope the chicken pot pie was delicious. You still didn't do what I asked. You know what? 
I did do what you were originally asked, to objectively evaluate the associates, not coddle your teacher's pet. Screw what I originally asked. I told you to rejigger the metrics to keep a valued associate. You think fudging the numbers wasn't the first thing I tried? It didn't work. He always came out too low. I don't care. Well, I do, because I care about this firm. And what kind of message does rejiggering the metrics send to the associates who work 100 hours a week, who eat dinner here every night, who don't even go on dates, let alone have a baby? I don't care what message it sends, Katrina. Brian is staying. Then you figure out who goes instead, because I'm not doing something I don't believe in. No, Katrina. I told you once, and I'm telling you again. They asked for this job. You are doing it.